Hey, this is Liam, and welcome back to Dynamic Alignment Body Work. Today we're going to talk about nerves, uh, so nerve tissue in the body, and the anatomy of what that is, what that feels like if something's a little off uh, within, it's actually the, the ability of the nerves to glide within the tissue around it, um, or a straight up compression, like a bone compressing a nerve, if you've ever had that feeling um, maybe in your back, then you know what we're talking about. And then lastly, a really simple technique called nerve flossing uh, that you can do, which is a lot of times a really great remedy, um, especially if you've been doing the same kind of thing and it's sort of working or has maybe stopped working as well or doesn't work at all. Um, playing with a little nerve flossing, if that seems helpful at all, that can be um, super helpful to follow that, follow that path a little bit. So to start, a bit of the anatomy. Um, our nerves are running everywhere through the body, the central nervous system, one of the big players, right? Our brain and spinal cord and all the nerves going out from that, the electrical signal that allows me to do something like, say, lift my arm, right? And then it happens. Um, and also there's a lot of nerves coming back in, which allow me to notice that there's touch, heat, sensation, my bladder's full, I'm hungry, um, you know, I'm stepping on a nail anything like that is all nerves coming back in and informing. In either of those outgoing pathways or ingoing pathways, um, the electrical signal is pretty intimately linked with the mechanical ability of the nerve tissue itself to not move tons, depending on where it is, but to be able to slide within the surrounding tissue and mostly the, uh, we could think of that as the fascia and the connective tissue web. And if there's a spot where it's sticky, or if there's a spot where maybe like the spine is a great example of two discs are pressing down on a nerve. So whether it's being pulled or compressed or there's variations of a theme of that, a shear. Um, if that nerve tissue is being uh, put in any other position than being able to glide and move freely and uncompressed, we get a very distinct kind of nerve pain. So that's one sort of, that would be sort of one remedy to try something like nerve flossing that we're going to do. And two is a general, it can be harder to pin down, but because, let's say, the nerves coming out of my neck ultimately feed down into my hand, even something like a numb and tingly hand, even if it's not a sharp sort of zingy nerve pain, um, that can also be a prescription for this. So what I suggest is try this next activity um, and notice what you notice, and if it seems like it's bringing positive change for you, give it a try for a little while. Um, so the technique, nerve flossing, will stay on this example of the, the cervical spine of your neck and how it feeds down into your arm. So what I want to do is you can extend your arm out and actually at about 45 degrees is fine. I'm not pushing hard. If I really start to reach this arm away and rotate open, I can actually feel like a pull of nerves in the inside of my arm. And if you want to feel a good example of what that feels like, strum your fingers through there, right? And you can kind of zing, shoot down to your fingertips. Whereas here, we're covered with muscle tissue and bone. But here, the nerves are exposed. Same thing on the inside of the neck. Right here, if you really dig, it's not very comfortable in this little triangle up here. So what I want to do is open up my arm a little bit. And then I'm just turning my head I'll, I'll show a big motion of this, and what you'll be doing is the same idea, just more subtle. So I can crank all the way open, and really reach, create this distance, and then do some rotations through there. And what I suggest is going into this rotation open slowly, open up slowly, and just feeling that first bit of catch. And then not on your skin, but deep to your skin that first bit of catch, and then maybe a little bit past that. So for here, me, that's about here. And then I start to rotate my neck and spine, my arm, this arm is still rotated open. And just doing a little, as I turn my head, it's pulling the muscle tissue and nerve tissue all one way and slacking it at different angles. It glide, I can reach a bit through my fingertips like this, 
and I can do those two things at the same time as well. And both that's kind of the hub of that is about right here. I can turn my arm the other way. So now I'm rotating in. Same idea. It won't really work like this because it's too slack here. So I'm keeping that light tension and then sort of playing on the boundaries of that as I reach my hand a little bit and open up the space a little bit. And I'm really going in there as like an explorer, gentle. And you can let that go. And again, especially try this with a shoulder or um, if you've been having like neck pain that feels a little like uh, funky or, and isn't resolving itself quickly. Same thing with shoulders. Give this a try and then notice what you notice. Maybe try a couple times a day for a minute or so on each side. At the very least, you're just kind of doing a nice stretch at the worst, right? And at best, you can find little spots where you're not hammering into them, but just gently opening and encouraging that glide of the nerve tissue within the surrounding fascia. Give it a go. Hope that helps. See you soon.